Conway Walsh. Senator, go ahead. Thank you, Cahirlik, and thank you, Minister. Uh, I want to thank you for coming into the House to update us on the, on the government's plans in terms of providing equity and fairness for group water schemes. And firstly, I have to say that the lack of information on this issue has been very frustrating for those on group water schemes at a time when Irish Water is actively informing all those who are due re refunds back. We have little detail regarding how equality for other water users can be achieved. And I am hosting a public meeting later this week in Mayo on the issue, which reflects the frustration of those who do not yet know how their access to water will be provided and how it will be funded into the future. And even when Minister Murphy was introducing the Water Services Bill in the Dáil, he noted that the legislation provides clarity in relation to public water and wastewater services. But there is, as he said, still some distance to go in achieving clarity for the group water schemes. And as you are aware, the Joint Committee on the Future Funding of Water Services reported earlier this year and stated that the committee recommends that the principles of equity of treatment and equivalent financial support should be applied equally between households on public water supplies and those on group water schemes, group sewerage schemes and those using domestic wastewater treatment systems and individual domestic water supplies. So it's not uh, good enough that many low-income households in rural Ireland have to continue to pay twice for water as things currently stand. So I want to ask why such a key recommendation of both the expert report and the Committee of the Future Funding of Water Services has not yet been, been implemented. And I thought it would have been uh, the legislation that's been put forward at the moment should have uh, included, as my colleague Ono Bryn said, should have included provision uh, for uh, group water schemes. The key difference is that group water schemes receive an annual subsidy of €70 Euro per household, but it does not cover the full annual cost of accessing the water supply. Those connected to a public water supply who are currently customers of Irish Water do not pay an annual charge for accessing that supply. So equity would mean that the state would cover the full annual cost of the group water scheme users accessing the water supply. The submission of the National Federation of Group Water Schemes to the Special Committee showed the experience and extraordinary voluntary effort that goes into every scheme, and this is often neglected in the debate around the water supply. These are friends and neighbours. Um, they're not debt collectors. They have all of their own issues, their own household bills, their own health concerns, and all of that. These are volunteers and they're finding it increasingly difficult uh, to collect uh, payment for what is an essential service and what should be supplied. But another important matter is the need for the proper timely programme to be put in place to facilitate the takeover of the schemes. That request is, is taking too long at the moment. This is currently far too long and the schemes are left in doubt as to when the necessary upgrades and takeovers will happen. So there's clarity needed around that as well. So how far progressed is the review process in relation to the subsidy? And will the exchequer funding in the form of subsidy payments be reflected in the provision of water to households on group water schemes in the same manner as the rest of the country out of general taxation? If the only clarity to come out of the Water Services Bill is that water is now paid for through general taxation, it is only fair to ask for the same regime to apply right across the state. Thank you, Minister. Uh, thank you, uh, <coughs> Chair, um, and I thank uh, Senator Conway Walsh for raising it and again answering it on behalf of my colleague, Minister Murphy, uh, who couldn't make it today to the Chamber. But um, in relation to group water schemes, it's an issue close to my own heart. Um, my own late father was a founder member of the group scheme in our particular area, um, Seth and, and another local man who all, both gone to their eternal reward at this stage. But in relation to the specific question asked, um, in recommendation 6.1 of its report, the Joint Oireachtas Committee on the Future Funding of Domestic Water Services recommended that the principles of equity, treatment and equivalent financial support should be applied equally between households on public water supplies and those in, in group water schemes group sewage schemes, those using domestic wastewater treatment systems and individual water supplies. It also recommended that the Department conduct a review in coordination with the National Federation of Group Water Schemes and other relevant stakeholders to qualify, quantify sorry, uh, what additional investment will be required to equalise treatment between those availing of domestic water services and those availing of private services. 
It recommended the following, uh, that following this review, identi identified investment should be provided. I'm happy to inform the Senator that the Department has already engaged informally with the National Federation of Group Water Schemes regarding the Committee's recommendation for equal treatment for households on group schemes. The Water Services Bill 2017 is currently being considered by this House. Once the Bill is enacted, a working group involving the National Federation of Group Water Schemes and other relevant stakeholders will be formally established to advance the recommendation of the Joint Oireachtas Committee. Uh, the, min the Minister is absolutely committed to holding this review and to ensure uh, that we have a vibrant, sustainable future for, group, for the group water sector. Minister Murphy assured the National Federation of Group Water Schemes of this when he recently met them and also when he addressed the recent Rural Water Services Conference. It is also worth highlighting that since domestic water charges for Irish water customers were suspended, the operational subsidy provided by the Department to Group Water Schemes has been restored to pre-2015 levels. It is important to note that currently funding is provided to the group water schemes either through subsidy or capital grant, and this is provided for by Section 16 of the Water Services Act 2007. Within this framework, the precise subsidy and grant arrangements and associated eligibility are set out in departmental circulars. Therefore, no legislation is required to change either the subsidy arrangements or the grant provisions. To ensure a vibrant future, the rural water sector requires clear funding and governance structures. It was for this reason that the government reformed the way it funds the sector. The aim of the new multi-annual rural water programme of 2016 to 18, with its more scheme-based or project-based approach, is to provide enhanced funding certainty for priority investment needs in the sector. This year, the department allocated 17.8 million euros in funding the rural water programme. In addition to this capital investment, the Department is, provided, is providing operational subsidies to the group water sector and an amount of some 20.5 million euros is being provided for in 2017. The Department is also engaging with the sector on an ongoing basis on a range of other issues including improving water quality, supporting a viable future for the sector and facilitating a strong voice for the sector in the national dialogue on water issues. I can assure the Senator that this active engagement with the sector will continue into the future. Senator Connell Hirla can thank you, Minister, and I thank you for, for the update. And I, would, uh, I do welcome the initiatives that are being taken in terms of the discussions that are on, ongoing and the formal group that's going to be set up. I think it's very important that there is ongoing communication with the volunteers on the group water schemes so that they know what's happening. And there's also a, a streamline of information to the local authorities so the local authorities are able to facilitate particularly those schemes that want a takeover and that the investment is there. I'm glad to know that a change in legislation is not required. Therefore, all it takes is a budget allocation or an allocation to make sure that the funding is there for the schemes that need to be upgraded so they can be taken over in a, in a timely manner. But uh, I, I, would, I would ask that you, you keep this um, as a priority front and centre of all the discussions around water so that people in rural Ireland have equity around this very important issue. I assure issue. you, for however long I'm in this office, the group water schemes, um, and I'm dealing with this, or with, with, the, with the department, it's not my direct responsibility, but it has an advocate in me because um, I know the work that goes into keeping and maintaining. Okay. Thank you for that. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.